All right, now we're going to look at something else that comes with Unreal Studio, which is incredibly cool. And it's the substance, the free substances that come with it, the kind of substance plugin and access to free substance materials. And if you've ever used these before, you know they're sort of awesome. And getting them with Unreal Studio for free, getting a bunch of architectural substances, I believe there's a hundred of them, that's pretty cool. And it's just included with the beta. When you go to your Epic Games, It'll say down here in library in your Epic Games launcher, substance plugin, install to engine. If you installed data smith if you installed 419 preview, then this should be just installed with it. So inside Unreal Engine, you will have to go to your edit plugins, make sure that substance is enabled and it will reset. And then you can go to substance source here, which will bring up this, and you'll have to log in. And then what you do is you just Right here it says included with Unreal Studio. It's 112 actually. Okay, and you just go through and there's all these arch architectural materials. So what I just did was I grabbed this one and hit the download button and that now says owned. That's in my assets now. Okay, I've got this spotted f concrete floor and this leather touch fine. Okay, so I'm still inside Unreal Engine. And I already put the spotted concrete floor down in this little interior here. I want to put this leather touch fine on my chairs. So let me show you how cool this is and how easy it is to use. You got my chair selected. Okay, go to the static mesh component of the chair. It's right here. That's a little bit different than before because it brings in this little uh, kind of a dummy object for the pivot so that everything pivots in the right place. Okay, so what you want to do is select the chair, make sure you're adjusting the static mesh component of it. I will find my fabric, which is right here, and I'm just gonna drop this into there. And we'll put my leather on there. It already looks pretty cool. Now the only thing I might have to adjust is the UVW mapping. A lot of my things in Max were done with real world scale, which isn't what these substance materials want to work with, but that's okay. We just have to make some adjustments to it to make it work. So what we can do is kind of look at both at the same time, my materials, Kind of really compacted so what we would do is just add a texture coordinate here if you even have this problem depending on how you mapped it in max it might just work oh and then of course you have to string all of them to it so all your uvs for all your maps and you see that these substance materials just have all their maps all set up they're all available using a pbr material workflow okay so i gotta get my tiling right over here still doesn't look right I'll mess with that, get it right, and then I'll show you the, the coolest thing about the substance materials. Okay, this one for this particular chair, because of how it was mapped, again, I actually went to four and four for the tiling. Make that fit a little better. Okay, that looks good to how I want it. So let's close this down, we've got it saved already. Now, but what we wanna do is look for the touch fine substance graph instance. Okay, so you can see my spotted concrete instance is already there. I want to find the substance instance for the leather. And what that does is bring up a list of parameters because these are parametric materials and you can change all the different parameters of it and it will just update right here. It's really quite cool. Gives you very good results. So I just up the resolution okay, to 512. You can change the random seed. Random seed, you can click the button there and it will change the pattern, obviously. Leather color, you can adjust to any color you want, basically, by using these sliders, or you can reset it back. I really like the color it is already, so I'll leave it there. Leather roughness, okay, that's gonna make it either more glossy or more rough. Maybe somewhere right around there is nice. Details density, okay, so you get the point. You can kind of create Various different types of materials. Now we're looking like pleather, probably. Let's set that back. And turn down this a little bit. I might go back and change the tiling a little bit, too. The point is you can change everything about this material uh, with sliders and parameters. And that also means that you can create uh, various different types of materials. So this leather could look really quite different than this just by changing the parameters here. Okay, you can do hue shift. So you can do all these adjustments to this. You can, well, you can basically make new material from it. 
can make it look however you want. So that is a really powerful tool. And these are very photorealistic, physically based materials that have all these high quality maps generated. And the coolest thing is that you can parametrically change them. So uh, that's a really good looking leather. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the rest of the chairs. Well, so that's the, um, that's the substance source, the substance plugin that is available with Unreal Studio. And you get those 100 substances. And they're specifically designed for architectural visual visualization. Plus, I think there's some additional ones that are more for games that are also free to you. So that's a huge asset that comes with the new Unreal Studio beta stuff. This is probably one of the cooler things that comes with it, these substances. So that's how they work. Uh, go ahead and check those out, experiment with them. I think it's going to help your scenes a lot.